Hey guys, I hope you're all having a great week. Before we get into today's recipe, I want to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. We have finally reached 90,000 subscribers. That's amazing. We're so close to 100,000 and I can't wait to do my giveaway. I've got some awesome things planned. So to celebrate my 90,000 subscribers, I'm going to show you my epic s'mores cake. My last chocolate recipe went down a treat, so I'm back with another one. So to start, I'm going to sift together all of my dry ingredients. So I have some plain flour and some cocoa powder. Sift those in. And then some baking powder and some salt. Sift those together. I like to just give that a quick mix together. And now in a separate bowl, I'm going to cream together my butter and two sugars. So I've got some soft light brown sugar. This will give it a really nice flavor. And then my second sugar is caster sugar. Next, I like to add in about half of my wet ingredients, but I like to mix them all together in a jug first. So I've got some milk, I'm going to add some vanilla extract to flavour that. And then finally, I'm going to beat in two eggs. The mixture is looking pretty good. I'm going to add all of my dry ingredients, give it a bit of a beat, and then add in my remaining wet ingredients. Once that's all mixed together nicely, that can get evenly divided into two eight inch cake tins. I like to weigh mine, that way I can try and get nice and even cakes. These can now go in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean. My cakes are out of the oven and I've let them cool on a wire rack. It's now time to make the ganache as it needs to cool before we decorate the cake. Got some milk chocolate in a bowl that I've chopped up finely and to that I'm going to add in some very hot cream. I just heated that up in the microwave. I'm gonna let that sit for about 20 to 30 seconds then I'm gonna stir it until it's nice and smooth. If at first it doesn't all melt or it's not runny enough to pour over a cake, you just want to pop it back in the microwave for a few more seconds until it's the perfect consistency. I'm really happy with my consistency, so that can go on the side to cool, ready for later. Now I'm going to start assembling the cake. I'm using a cake stand and just taking some of my chocolate buttercream, I'm going to spread that onto the cake stand. That will just help secure the cake down. So I place the first layer on. And now on top of that, I'm going to add on the chocolate buttercream. This is delicious, it's so rich. If you want the recipe for this, I'll leave it in the description box below. So I'm just gonna spoon a nice dollop on. You can add as much or as little as you'd like. And then smooth that over with my spatula. To really take this cake to the next level, I'm going to drizzle on some caramel sauce. You can add as much or as little as you would like. You can even add a different topping if you'd prefer. Now I'm going to add on the chocolate ganache. I'm going to start with about half. Always best to start with less as you can always add more. You might want to pop your cake in the fridge for a little bit just to help the ganache set. That way it'll be easier to decorate. So when you're ready to decorate, you want to grab your marshmallows and pile them all on top.
final touch is to blowtorch the marshmallows to really give them that s'mores look. And that is it done. That is how you make my epic s'mores chocolate cake. Easy.